I am General Frank Grass, your 27th Chief of the National Guard Bureau, and this is your Buckeye Guard. This winter, Governor Kasich appointed Air National Guard Major General Mark Bartman as Ohio's 82nd Adjutant General. A command pilot with more than 3,200 flying hours, Major General Bartman has served in several command positions in the Air Force and Ohio Air National Guard. General Bartman most recently served as Ohio's Assistant Adjutant General for Air and in Washington, D.C. as the Air National Guard lead for the Chief of Staff of the Air Force's Total Force Integration Task Force. The Chief of the National Guard Bureau, Army General Frank J. Grass, visited Ohio where he was guest speaker at the 2015 Ohio National Guard Association and Enlisted Association Conference and Dinner Dance held in downtown Columbus. You know, any time that uh, our military men and women have an opportunity to step back from their day-to-day -day jobs and reflect, and that's what a lot of our associations do, you know, professional associations, that we have an opportunity to gather, to think about issues, you know, what's the future, what are the things we're going to need to be able to do our homeland mission as well as our overseas mission and our partnerships in the future. He also visited Ohio National Guard installations in Columbus and Springfield and spoke with the soldiers and airmen there. And I try to get out and see as many troops as I can, especially on the weekends, because that's where most of our drill status guardsmen come together, and it's an opportunity to get out and talk with them and hear what's on their mind. Because when I go back to Washington, I'm representing them across the 54. General Grass's wife, Patricia, also traveled to Ohio and took time to meet with the Ohio National Guard family readiness staff and volunteers. But we are a command team in that she, when she can travel with me, and get out and see the family support groups. Uh, a lot of times they'll tell her things they won't tell the general. For more stories about the Ohio National Guard, visit our website at ong.ohio.gov. Check out video coverage of the Guard and its service members on the Ohio National Guard YouTube channel. See who else is in Ohio's National Guard community on our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at OH National Guard. And have a look at the Guard's faces and places on our Instagram page at Ohio National Guard. The Ohio Army National Guard opened two new facilities this quarter, the Delaware Readiness Center and a facilities maintenance shop in southern Ohio. Built adjacent to the Delaware Community YMCA in cooperation with the City of Delaware and the YMCA, the Delaware Readiness Center will serve as a training center for several Ohio Army National Guard field artillery units, while also providing facilities that will benefit the entire community. This is the first of its kind where two facilities were built separately but are attached. And it's the first facility that um, has the YMCA as the partner operating uh, the, uh, the community center. A new field maintenance shop recently opened at Camp Sherman in Chillicothe, Ohio, was designed to facilitate the maintenance of Army National Guard equipment while having substantially decreased impact on the environment. All the, all the systems here are set up to uh, save the environment, make things better for for nature and the surrounding community. Uh, we have the overhead crane here, it's a capability of lifting 16 tons. Also we have a wash rack here where we're able to wash the vehicles before we work on them and after, uh, to make sure they're clean and make it easier to troubleshoot. It was a very special day for one youngster this March at the 121st Air Refueling Wing located at Rickenbacker Air National Guard Base. Today we are hosting a pilot for a day program and it's our second one that we've done. We try to do this at least once a quarter. We partner with Nationwide Children's Hospital and they allow us to bring a child over for a day so they can spend the day out here at the base learning what we do and seeing what it would be like to be a pilot or an airman for the day. Hit this little red switch up there. N62 radio check. In 2013, Ian Strait was diagnosed with leukemia and after aggressive chemotherapy, Ian has been cancer free for a year and a half. Soldiers from across the state gathered at Camp Ravenna to test their skills in a new variation of the Ohio Army National Guard's annual Best Warrior Competition. This year's competition was designed to prepare Ohio's warriors for the regional and national competitions, which are four-day events that focus on endurance and performance under pressure. But all of the participants in this year's Ohio Army National Guard competition will take away valuable experience. There is training value in this. Although it's a competition, the, the uh, end state of the competition is that every 
soldier who competes in this competition walks away knowing what right looks like and can take those those uh, skills that they learn here and the training that they learn here and, and take it back to their unit. Congratulations to Sergeant Matthew Schaefer of C Troop 2nd Squadron of the 107th Cavalry Regiment and Private First Class Mark Horton of the 945th Engineer Company. Two outstanding examples of the professional soldiers and airmen of the Ohio National Guard. The Buckeye Guard.